Hello everyone, this is number one gamer dad, Wiper Toffee, and today I want to show you how to do um, a chant further than I have shown before to gain as much tech coin per second as possible. So I have uh, been digging even even deeper down now to try to find the best way to to get as much tech coin as possible as fast as possible. So when you can show just shortly demonstrate on these chests chests here. Um, I did first some research on how to break them fast down, so you can break this chest down in just three seconds, and then we tried to get some more income, and we uh, got up to like an income of maybe twenty billion per chest, and so on. So um, let's just go in here, make sure that we are having on our buff, and we have triple coin on. And let's take some chests, and you will see what the income I have now for the setup I have currently. And it has become a little bit better now. Um, so you see this one chest, we, uh, that was 75 billion. And we also got some diamonds as well. We're gonna try to take one more. And... and uh, in general, it's it's all about how much you get from a chest like this. So here we have 80 billion, and and uh, towards the time it takes to take it down. So here I got about 80 billion, and it takes about nine seconds. So that's more than 10 billion per second, and so on. And you can just get them keep working all the time, all the time. It's maybe best that I'm standing still, so it's easier to see how much is gather up for one chest and you see here the the, the amount is about uh, 80 billion it's generally it's between 40 to 100 billion per chest with the setup I have now it's also depend on the coin multi down here that helps a lot depend on how many friends you have playing together with you so so that also have something to say and uh, thankfully for the new update has come, we can now save up more coins and that helps a lot in, in the achievement of trying to break a lot of eggs to get that beautiful cat. I haven't got it yet, but for sure I'm gonna go for it to get it. Okay, uh, this is a short demonstration, then I will go. we will go away to the enchant area and I will go through the different enchants and share the knowledge of the setup I have done so far. So we we'll go to the enchant area which I have become more and more glad in. It's an area I have been using many many hours now and sometimes it <laughs> it takes up to over 100 real chance of one single path to get it as I want to have it. And again as you see on my team I have a lot of uh, demons and I'm also try working on diver uh, converting them to dark matter. But one of the, my favorite paths is absolutely hexalotl. The reason for this is the hexalotl I can re-enchant it. It takes a lot of time to re-enchant this one, of course, uh, but it's t totally worth it. So uh, from before, the beginning of the team is the same. Uh, the demon I ha here and the four huge festival cats. We can have five demons here instead. That's one way to do it. Uh, they are there for getting up the base in a really high and and uh, and so on. And uh, that I have plus 15% tech, tech coins on one of them, uh, huge cats. This is a bonus, of course. Um, then we are coming to the next type of cats where I, I want to have royal on some of these uh, pets. And that's mostly because I want to have diamonds when I uh, farming as well. I want to have like 20, 30, 40k diamonds. And uh, when you get a bonus, you want to have like 200k bonus uh, on checking down one chest. But uh, normally you will have like 20 to 30k with the setup I have now. So this is mostly for the diamonds, but at, uh, as a bonus on this one, it also has super teamwork. As we talked be before, the super teamwork is really important to have to get up the strength of the team. This is the one that is going to really work on together with these few paths in the beginning here that gives the 
they have huge bait stats for the uh, for the team. The super team is the one that really rise the the strength of the team. It's, it uh, it makes the team th every the whole team thirty percent stronger for each super team what you have. So and then you have this one is also a royal, but it also have a little bit more tech coins. And tech coins is very important because uh, it doesn't help to just break down chests really quick. It also it's quite important that you get a good amount of tech coins. So the change from the last video um, is that I have much more pets now with tech coins in them, and and that ha have have made the time from taking a chest go from three seconds to about nine seconds. So it's three times slower to take down a chest, but still nine seconds is very fast, and it gives me less work, uh, manual work to to farm in the end area. And the end area is is really good to farm. Uh, of course, the bigger chest in in the tech world is also okay to use, uh, but the manual farming is of course the best. And then we start with uh, all of this hexalotl you see here. I have 75% tech coin. I would prefer to have 100%, but one of these I have used like 100 to 150 times. Reenchant just one, so. It's to enchant this hexalotl. I have been using our between 10 and 20 million diamonds, and I've been using many, many hours of just reenchant, reenchant. So when I got 75%, I'm happy for with that for now. And then uh, when I'm making more of these, I will be working them to get them to 100%. And also, how, as you see here, I use uh, make a lot of these hexalots. What's good with a hexalot is that um, you can make them all out of uh, some other pets. Let's see if I have some of them here now. It's the um, Hackett Cat and Hackett Dog. So if you get a Hackett Cat up to uh, Rainbow, then you use five Hackett Cats and you can make a Rainbow Hexalotl. The same, you also have a formula for the Hackett uh, Hexy Gator. Which is uh, and so on. Uh, if you have three of this one, you also get the hexalot. Sometimes you have to have six of the cat, and sometimes you have to have four of hexagator when they are weak in power. So, but um, mainly, so you can make a lot of hexalot uh, and so on. As you see here, I'm I'm really going for getting a lot of these. The only reason why these are not dark matter yet is. That uh, I'm using the dark matter machine now to make more for for demons. Okay, uh, so as you see here, I have this one on tech coins. So I have tech coins here. I have uh, a really good C super teamwork here with additional uh, strength buff. I also have tech coins here, tech coins, tech coins, tech coins, tech coins, and tech coins. And then we have some more here with super teamwork and royal. That this give both diamonds and stronger team, and you also have here with tech coins and diamonds, and here we have diamonds and tech coins, coins, and you also in the bar here I also have tech coins and royalty which give diamonds. So in ba basically you see I have one, uh, two, uh, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 pets with tech coins and I, at the same I have uh, let's see how many I, I have now in the super teamwork I have one and there should be one more here two that is super teamwork and we have three that has super teamwork and I also have one that have a team so what I basically have done with the new team now is that I have way less super teamwork so the team is more way weaker but I get much more attack coins from this. So this is something you can tune on your own team um, in this way. And uh, I also have discovered about, uh, about diamonds. It seems that if you're breaking the chest too quick, then you will get less diamonds. But if you break the chest in a certain time area, then you get more diamonds. So I haven't figured out 100% how the diamond work. Of course, this bonus of diamond works, but it also seems that the time that you use to break down a chest also have something to say how much diamonds you are getting. So it's about a tuning uh, to tune between 
having the tech coin buff and having the super team teamwork buff. The only buff that I'm currently missing on my team now uh, is, is the so-called um, charm buff. Uh, you will the charm does not stack, um, so you will only need one pet that has charm. At the moment, I don't have it. The reason that I want to have charm is that it increases your chance of getting a bonus while while equipped. Let's say you remember when you are taking down chests, you get some big packages that can contain coins, they can contain diamonds, or you can get presents that contains these different buffs that we need. So um, it's it, it's going to be a huge benefit to have uh, one with charm in there. And one of the main reasons for that is for these boosts that you have. The triple coin boost is hard to get. Uh, the normal triple damage and super lucky is really easy to get. Uh, but also the ultra lucky is hard to get. So it will uh, definitely help to keep these boosts up by having one that has charm. So, so that's one thing that I'm going to work to get into my team. But generally, as you look at my team, I still have one of the Santa. I have tried to take in some of the other ones, but still, it's so important to have that uh, Royal with for diamonds and also the tech coins I into the team. So, the best team is not uh, like when you trick, equip, press down here, you equip the best pets. And that's not true. You equip the, what it actually should state down here is that you uh, equip the pets with the best basic stats, and it doesn't take in count any enchants when you are using this button. So I will not recommend to use this. I will recommend to to try to put your best team, and then try to um, switch out to to get the best uh, en uh, enchants as possible. So basically, this is how far I have now go for enchanting, and and um, I think I think this has made uh, at least for me a very big change from before where I started with the first video. Um, I I definitely now earn tech coins twenty to thirty times faster now than before I I uh, started with enchanting, and also. Um, my friends on the server, some of them are here now and other ones. Several of them have tested out this technique and, and uh, I think it's working for them as well. Maybe they will be as kind to confirm that in this video and answer on it. Uh, that would be nice, but at least I really hope this helps for you as well. And I will appreciate if you can test this and come back with your feedback. Did this help for you? Or not? Um, that would that would be nice for me to have some feedback on it. Uh, I will also recommend you to see the two other videos I have made. I made one video uh, that is called selecting the correct paths and and uh, the correct enchants. I also made a video where I told about I increased my strength of my team ten times. So please see those two videos as well as additional to this one. So basically that's what I had to say this time. I hope this information will help you all as well to get more tech coins faster. And oh, like this one, getting more uh, boosts. Um, so hope hope to see you with a huge cat. And when you get it, please share. Okay, bye bye.